Hello everybody, time for the weekly update. We are going to start out here at the, um, I think it's 2283 Barlow. And the reason for that, one, it's my favorite plant, because it's the biggest. And two, it's going to have its first pollination tomorrow morning. That little lady right there. I'm going to be pollinating this one tomorrow morning. At least it's telling me that it's ready for tomorrow morning. Um, so when I get done on this video, I will be putting, opening this up and putting this five gallon paint strainer over the flower to protect it from bees trying to pollinate it before I get here. Um, and I'll also be putting a uh, chair over it to help keep it dry. Um, just in case it rains, or if it doesn't rain, we've been getting very heavy dew in the morning. Because it's just so humid. Um, it didn't rain at all today, but this is still moisture left from the two and a half inches of rain we got this weekend. So it's just been... Um, hot and humid. Low 80s. Some by late afternoon, it gets closer to the upper 80s. But uh, so yeah, summer decided just to turn the switch on, and boom, here we are. <laughs> so which the plants decided to grow like like crazy, which is cool. But been having to really uh chase around, try to catch up and bury vines and pin them down and work on getting the weeds but so yeah the joys of this hobby <laughs> you work your butt off for a big pumpkin and speaking of the pumpkin as you can probably have noticed I have started the S curve on here um I'm not daring enough like some guys do they uh, people do um, basically right where the female flower is they'll get this bend to a 90 degrees or greater I mean they really bend this vine over me I'll probably it will probably be a strong U and that's probably about as comfortable as I'll feel like getting it so I'll keep bending this guy back a little bit with the next couple of days. And then when I'm ha comfortable with this bend here, then I'll start straightening this guy out by completing the S out and then having the vine travel all the way over there, the main vine. Um, and then as soon as this pumpkin starts getting to um, like basketball size and um, basically around there when it starts getting to that size it'll be heavy enough where when you out so I can very gently and slowly start moving that pumpkin because right now he's right there and I want him to more so be facing this way that way his shoulders have plenty of room to grow without um, breaking the vine so that wouldn't be cool so yes so yeah that's well that's what I'll be doing with this guy um, this nice 80 and humid degree weather makes it very easy to do this because it's like the um, main vine is like a rubber hose right now it's so elastic so so yeah, exciting times are, are finally upon us. And then here, um, as you can see, I got all these vines buried and pinned down. And tomorrow I will go around with a loophole and get rid of these weeds and get my little hand scraper and scrape in between the vines here. 
And hopefully I can get all that done tomorrow so then I can get over to the Holland and do that one next. Um, and I'll just clean each each pumpkin plant um, in the order that it's been pollinated. So this this plant's first and then the Holland because the Holland's the next one. And the Mason's a cool second. Um, actually from this morning to after work, that female flower grew quite a bit. And I'll take you over to those two plants now. Oh, quick one. One thing I forgot. We're still over by the, the Barlo. Um, that female flower is um, 15 feet out, which is roughly where I do it. You know, like to start pollinating the, the female flowers. Um, and but the main vine is probably another two feet past that, so you got a 17 foot main vine, and we roughly got that for total uh, secondary width. So I'm pretty comfortable with that size plant. Um, now I'll take you over to the Holland. All right, here's a side shot of the Holland. Um, the weeds seem to be a little thicker right here. Must be happy. Must be liking my soil amendments that I put in the ground. But your day is coming. Anyways, um, yeah, here is the Holland. Um, and he's probably closer to 15 feet wide and um but the main vine is about the same as the barlow it's 17 feet out there and i believe i'll have to double check but i think this female flower also is 15 feet out um the both the all three main vines they you know they could just kept on going but the secondaries were lagging behind at first so now they're kind of playing catch up so i will take you over to the female flower all right and here we whoa uneven board it's taking me for a ride <laughs> i think we're stable now whoa maybe not working on my balance here but <laughs> here we go here is the Holland and I'm guessing that it's gonna be the fourth which is not counting today it's basically be two full days plus the fourth in the morning so um, a strong two days and he'll probably open if not on the fifth but I for how warm it's been and how vigorous all this my plants have been growing you'll probably <clears throat> you'll probably be on the fourth so I will probably starting tomorrow I will start bending making an S curve for this guy and I'll probably be cutting that leaf off because I don't want it to be uh, harming my little female pumpkin right flower pumpkin flower there so that's that lady now I'll take you over to the mason and here we are over by the mason um there's a small possibility he'll open on the fourth um but I don't think so I think he's maybe a half a day or so to a day behind the Holland so he'll probably open on the 5th um, and yeah man like I said he really uh, she really grew this morning I mean this afternoon she had a productive day growing so yeah oh I forgot to show you the whole plant <laughs> got so excited to show you the female flower I never showed you the plant so let me get you in a good position 
All right, here's a side view. Um, this is her better side. The camera does her good on this side opposed to that side. Um, I'm starting to think it's this spot because my plant last year did the same thing. And I'll show you what I mean. As you can see, all the secondaries are growing wonderful over here and not so great over on this side. And that's the same thing that happened last year in this spot. So I'm starting to think it's this spot. I'm not sure what it is, but I guess we can call this kind of growth over here normal so there we have it um that's my that's the tour of my patch um i am going to cut the male flowers off the barlow because i'm going to self-pollinate the barlow that female flower so i'm going to cut those flowers out, off and put them in a in the cup of water and keep those inside and then I'll cover that female flower put a chair over and then hopefully quickly I'm going to spray the plants down with some uh, tall star because as I was um, burying the vines and whatnot over there I did see a squash bug so there should be enough pesticide on there to uh, deter him from doing anything. But with all this wonderful rain that we keep getting, I'm sure, I don't know how strong the solution on the leaves are anymore. So I will reapply that and then, then I'll be calling it a day. So. Until next time, guys. I will see you later. Bye-bye.